Okay, so for this question then, we're given f of x and asked to first of all calculate f of 2 and then express f of x as a product of two algebraic factors. Well, finding f of 2 is dead easy. All we need to do is just substitute x as 2. And if you do that, then what happens is you get this expression and working out the value of each of the terms comes out to be 0. Kind of expected that because it leads us nicely into the next part because by the factor theorem, if you've got a particular value of x, in this case 2, that makes it equal 0, that tells us that x minus 2 must be a factor. If you're unsure of the factor theorem, do go back and check that uh, idea out. So for part 2, we know that x minus 2 must now be a factor of f of x. So we can start to build this up. And I'll show you two methods in this of working out that second factor. We've got f of x must be identical then to x minus 2. And it's going to be multiplied now by another factor, which has to be a quadratic expression. So the first term in the quadratic expression is going to be an x squared term. Next term would be something x, and then we'll have a constant on the end. So we've got to get minus 3x cubed. And the only term that's going to give us that is when we multiply the x here with the x squared. So clearly, it must be minus 3x squared there. x times the minus 3x squared gives me the minus 3x cubed. The term that's going to be a little bit more awkward, but still not that much awkward, is going to be the x term. So I'm going to call it plus bx, OK? And clearly, if we're to get an x squared term, 8x squared here, we get that when we multiply the x with the plus bx. That's going to give us bx squared. All right. We're also going to get an x squared term when we multiply the minus 2 with the minus 3x squared. So that's going to give us plus 6x squared. And we know that the result should really be plus 8x squared. This has got to come to 8x squared. So just by looking at this, we can see that b must be equal to 2. 2x squared plus 6x squared gives us the 8x squared. So I know that for this part then, let's just put underneath. OK, we've got x minus 2 multiplied with minus 3x squared. And we've got plus 2x so far. And for this quadratic factor, it's got to be a constant on the end. And the only way that you get a constant on the end is when you multiply the minus 2 with the constant that you're going to put here. And minus 2 times something has got to give us the plus 10. It's got to be minus 5. OK, so put minus 5 in there. And there we have it, OK, our product of two factors. Now, I did say that there was another way that we could do this. I'll just border this off, by the way. The other way is to do algebraic long division. You might prefer that. We know that if we were to divide x minus 2 into okay, our cubic expression here, let's just copy it down, minus 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 9x plus that 10, we should end up with our quadratic factor. So I'm going to do algebraic long division. If you're unsure of this, do check out the tutorials on that. So what we do, we say, what do we multiply x by to get minus 3x cubed? And it has to be minus 3x squared. And we multiply minus 3x squared with the x minus 2, put our answer down here, so we get minus 3x cubed. And then minus 3x squared times the minus 2 is going to give me plus 6x squared. OK. We now subtract just to work out what our remainder is. 
These two terms cancel one another out, but we have here 8x squared minus plus 6x squared. So that's going to give me 2x squared. So put that down there and we bring down the next term, the minus 9x. So if I bring that down, we've got minus 9x there. And we start over again. What do we multiply the x minus 2 by to give us that 2x squared? Well, it's got to be plus 2x. So put plus 2x there. 2x times x minus 2 gives us 2x squared, making these two terms the same. And then we get 2x times the minus 2, which is minus 4x. Subtract again, just to work out what our remainder is. These terms then cancel. And so what we've got is minus 9x minus minus 4x. So that becomes minus 9x plus 4x, which is minus 5x. We now bring down the next term, our last term here, that constant, plus 10. And we find that what do we multiply x minus 2 by to give us minus 5x plus 10? Well, it's got to be minus 5. So you put that up there. Check it out. Minus 5 times x minus 2 gives me minus 5x plus 10. So that when I do subtract, what do I get? I get 0. No remainder. All right, so you can see that minus 3x squared plus 2x minus 5 is our quadratic factor. So you can tackle this two ways, either by just directly working it out like this, as I did here, or you could just do algebraic long division. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea if that caused any problems.